Well, good afternoon guys and welcome back to, oh, before the gate slams, welcome back to video two or attempt two of the exhaust. So we um, went back to gravity and what happened with the exhaust, if you've not seen the last uh, video on the exhaust, go watch that because then you'll get what I mean here. So basically the gravity one wasn't going to work uh, and when I've contacted gravity and sent the exhaust back, they've actually said to me there's a fault with the design and they refunded me. So I had to get a new brand of exhaust. So we went sticking to budget rules because I could have easily gone for a Miltex, I was annoyed. But I found another budget brand that other um, R53 owners have said they use and it's this one. And it's a Malian exhaust. Now they do a race one and they do a sports one. So I went for the sports. So it's got, should we say, bigger back boxes. Um, the race one is literally, it just looks like a resonator. So it's like this, but just a little bit bigger. If I want to take it on track, I can't risk it being too noisy. Uh, so this actually, this exhaust was 50 quid cheaper. Um, direct from Malian. I think I ordered it on like Friday. I ordered it on Friday before 1 p.m. and it came Saturday. So I have unboxed it and put it together just to make sure that it, it will go together. So the idea now is to get that mini up and get this on. So as we say, we've got two of these, there's a wide pipe and then the rest of it's in there. So uh, yeah, I won't bother about unboxing it. I'll get that mini jacked up and then we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this one sounds good. And works. Woo, I can see why all the big YouTubers just get big shops and have machinery to do this. This is a ball eight. So, so far, we've had to take the shield off. We'll have to get a new one. That was pretty broken anyway. Um, we've got one bolt off the cat on one side. Uh, we're trying to undo the caps basically. So we've got everything jacked up. Just got to go under there and get there's another bolt off. Um, this thing I loosened off, but I'm hoping that I can just feed the pipe through this gap rather than having to take it off. I'll have a look when we get there. Um, yeah, it's going well, but uh, if you all want to like, you know, help me get to like loads of subscribers and stuff and then, uh, <laughs> I can just get a machine to jack it up on. I could take it to a mechanic, but you guys want to see me rolling around in like this rubbish, right? Exactly. Nearly there. Uh, no, don't come off. Oh, Woohoo! Yeah, boy! Worst mechanic in the world! Oh, <laughs> that sucked. Oh, well. Let's uh, pull all the. <laughs> pulled all that out because it's attached to it. That makes my life easier as well. I need a cup of tea. Ah. Oh, so it's pulled that out at the same time. Oh. My tip, take it to a mechanic. Oh, right. Let's get this piece of rubbish off. Oh God, I'm knackered. <laughs> So guys, what I'm having to do now is uh, remove the hangers because it's hard to get to the rubbers. Sorry, I'm having to remove these weird, these things. Basically they're attached to the back boxes um, just because it's hard to get to the rubbers and I can't be bothered to take the wheels off because I'm lazy. on my 
my face, but woo! Anyone want an old R53 exhaust? Oh. So guys, that is the old one off. Look at this, absolute trash. Look at that. That's awful. Crusty thing. Anyway, I need this, so I'll take that off. I won't bother with that. Probably get a new one put on. But that is the old exhaust off. <sighs> now it's time. I just need to remove these. Uh, and then, yeah. Time to put on the new one. So guys, just a little quick one. With the Mini, it has this weird little hanger as well in the middle. I've never seen this on a car before. Wasn't going to use it, but it's literally just six bolts. Um, but also it helps me know which way around this needs to go. So this sits under... Um, the, the the sort of resonator pipe um, just like that one it's pretty easy because you can see how that goes down and this one drops down as well so we're just going to attach that to that then we're going to attach the wide pipe then we'll probably get these bits on and then we'll deal with the rest of it rather than trying to do it as one piece because as you can see the old exhaust was one piece and that's a pain in the ass okay guys so that piece is together and hopefully I've done it right. So with uh, Malian as well, they also send us new gasket, um, bolts, uh, look like kind of like a, I'm not sure what that is. I'm, I'm not gonna try and make out like I know what I'm on about. It looks like some sort of grip washer that grips into that. I'm trying to make myself sound fancy, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's get this section on first, get that tightened up. And then once that section's on, we'll worry about dealing with this stuff afterwards okay guys so to make my life easier and save me having to hold um, uh, everything in place I decided to put that sort of mid bracket in first uh, because that's attached to the exhaust that will hold everything up which makes my life a lot easier which is rather ideal so as long as I can find the hole oh yeah that's what she said uh, then it's all good huh. Fine, that's finger tight. That's good for me. Right. Oh, let's get the cat attached and then we'll deal with the back end. Oh. Don't wanna overthink it, baby. It's just me. Okay guys, so while I'm fitting the uh, back boxes, it's having a bit of a problem with the hangers, but um, someone on one of the forums said to me to start the car without, so I feel like I'm gonna have to, just for, just for shiggles. So uh, let me get you guys set up.
Oh my god. So guys, it is a different day because after we got that clip of the car's first startup and the revving, obviously with the Malian exhaust on the Mini, the camera died. So we were quite lucky to get that in, in my opinion. Um, so I've jumped back on today to do a sign off and I wanna know what you guys think to that, that first startup and that, that, uh, that rev of the exhaust. I think it sounds absolutely amazing. And also, as it's been a few days, I've actually driven the car and it sounds so good. It makes all the right noises, it pops, it bangs. The drone is just not there, it's perfect. There's no drone, it's great for a daily, it sounds amazing and I think it looks great. And remember guys, this is 250 quid's worth of exhaust and that's delivered to my front door. Okay, the tip alignment isn't perfect, but again, it's not a 600 pound Miltec or Scorpion exhaust. So alignment's not great. We had a little bit of faffing about with the hangers, but I think it's an amazing exhaust for the money, for the Mini, for the R53. They do it for other models as well. So if you're interested, go check out Mali and really, really, really good stuff. But I wanna know what you guys think. So let me know, drop me a comment. If like the video, if you haven't, then subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications bell. But until next time, guys, peace out.